Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you how I am making this lizard. Um, it's inspired by a Talavera. It's a Mexican pottery um, lizard. And um, yeah, I have a couple of pieces in my garden of uh, Talavera. I'd like a lot more, but it is pricey. So I thought, well, why not create my own version of something that can adorn my garden. I am using just a little canvas. I'll put, put my brush down so that I could show you. It's just a, a inexpensive canvas. You can get them in packs at you know your art store. And I will be covering it up with um, anything cardboard or something in the back so that the spiders don't nest or, or insects don't get in it when I hang it in my garden. Um, it will be under my porch, so I'm going to put some light protection on it, um, some clear, and that's about it. I'm using acrylic paints, just any acrylic paint you can find. Um, I I always go to my home improvement stores and buy whatever samples that people don't like that they left over. I revamp the color or just use the color as is, and it's a great deal. I mean, I can get this this huge amount versus this amount almost for the same price or even less this is even less sometimes i can get them for 80 cents but at this point it's like a dollar 25 and um yeah i just don't use expensive acrylic paints just any paint that works well i don't like the paints that separate so there are some cheap cheap brands that say separate a lot and i i don't really use those but it's a trial and error thing i have um for my basic colors, which are black and white, I buy them in, in a gallon size at my home improvement store, just good acrylic paint. And I um, I go ahead and put them in the squeeze bottles for accessibility and for um, crafts, and that way I save a ton of money because um, paint is expensive. And um, I have, you know, I paint in oil and I paint in acrylic, so yeah. It, it, it could get very pricey and you end up uh, spending a lot of money so back to this project if you like uh, coloring in a coloring book this is basically it I mean I'm pretty sure I did this freehand um, I really I sketched it in with a pencil first and then I went ahead and used a sharpie and I um, went over the lines and once uh, that was done, I went ahead and I printed, I, I printed, I uh, painted the background. Oops, excuse me for the hot rod. And, uh, yep, yeah, now I'm working on all the detail and pretty much it's, uh, it's a feel, whatever you want. I mean, you can look for, uh, on the internet for inspiration as far as colors or a theme that you would like. But as you get going, um, I wanted to make it original. Um, and I kind of liked the fact that um, when I was sketching the face, it ended up looking like if it was actually pressed up against a glass looking at me from outside, which I thought was a really cool twist because the ones that I've seen are facing away from you and what you're seeing is their back. But in this case, I um, I went ahead and imagine that it was looking at me through maybe a pane of a window pane or which is a great twist which I like for me but yeah just uh keep on being creative I have several projects in the studio see I have my kitty stuff that I'm doing and yeah I have to, I have to do some organization I'm going to be revamping my table here my craft table because as you can see it ends up being just a, a cluttered mess of, of supplies so even though I do have caddies several caddies and I have these large closets which are um, half shelving and I, I put and I have my my let me get up so I can show you I have my um canvases up in in this uh rack that my beautiful hubby made for me and um yeah I have pegboard so that I could hang stuff that I'm working on and uh, there's never enough storage never enough storage um, yeah I have this little thingy here that I am um, uh, 
half full of stuff already. And yeah, basically I have to organize and, and, but you know, a creative space can be super organized because then you're not being creative. You're worried about making a mess and you got to be able to make a little bit of mess and leave it in disarray until you come in the next day. So do your theme, do your theme and um, get creative. This is a great, I thought this was a great idea for me because I have so many ideas of what I want in the garden. And um, I was thinking of doing these uh, in board. I've, um, I love woodworking and um, I've made a sun before that was inspired by a, a metal sun that I saw at the store that was way too expensive. So I said, well, I'll create it in wood and I carved it and I think it's beautiful. It's in my garden, in my porch. You can take a look at it in, in my garden videos if you want to head over to my page, uh, Green Lady. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of um, succulent and cactus garden videos because that's one of my passions. And um, this fella here is going to go in there and uh, I'm sure he's going to turn out great. I love them already. So basically, I'm just, I felt like orange today, so I got some orange. I'll use the orange. I'll do one color at a time because acrylics dry very quickly. So you want to use just a little dab so you don't waste too much paint and distribute your color throughout the piece. And that way you can coordinate it better too. If you're jumping here, there, and everywhere between colors, you're not going to get the the flow um, and the cohesiveness that that is required when you're working on a piece that that is so um, colorful and vivid. And that's one of the things I like about the Talavera. They're a little bit over the top sometimes. I think um, I tend to go for simplicity. I, I like simplicity better than very bright and brave colors but um, certain things you need to boost the color and you need to you know enjoy life and they need to make you smile and feel good and this is one of those things that I want to make it very colorful but peaceful at the same time so we'll see how it turns out so I'm going to continue working on it and basically it's a uh, it's as easy as you know just filling in your lines and you got to figure out where you're going with your your theme here so um in this case you know i'm gonna add some to the feet here just um some color don't get it too runny because it will go all over the place but if you need to wet it put a little bit of water i just use water i don't use any expensive mediums to to um, thin the paint down this is straight out of the bottle or out of the tube and uh, yeah, there you go so it's really cool if if say that you get paint outside or whatever you can always go back and touch it up with um, the sharpie and um, It's so cool because I don't like really having a plan when I'm doing all this stuff. I will have some pictures of her inspiration from the internet or wherever. And um, your tools are very important. You don't have to get super expensive brushes. Just get whatever works. Um, they sell packs of inexpensive brushes and you know if if you go to the art stores you can get a coupon off usually there's always a coupon for 40 percent off so get a pack and buy it 40 percent off and and uh, you can enjoy it so all right i'm going to continue working on it and then i will um continue taping when i have the finished product so i could show you and um okay we'll come right back Okay, here I'm done with the orange, or for now, with the orange. I'm about ready to start on the green. I'm going to be using this beautiful, very subdued celery green. This one here. I mean, they would use a, a dark, dark green, but 
like I said, I wanted to make it a little bit toned down, a little bit wacky, but not so wacky where it um, offends the eye. So, all right, um, I'll go ahead and come back when I'm done blocking in the green. Okay, I'm back and I just finished with the green, blocking in the celery green. And um, there's a few areas. I didn't make this totally symmetrical because that's the beauty of the Talavera. I find that there's some little twists and turns of um, of the actual design. And I bet you that's because they're improvising. You know, sometimes you run out of space or one side is not as big as the other and you have to adapt and that's part of art, right? It's part of being creative and being an artist. So I went ahead and um, you're going to really be able to see when I block in the blue. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to look for a cobalt blue. I'm not sure if I have an acrylic cobalt blue, so I might have to be creative and mix some colors. But um, that's what I plan to do for, for the body and the head and the feet. So, all right. I will um, go ahead and block in the blue and be back when it's done. Okay, here is the finished product. Um, I went ahead and uh, blocked in all the colors. Um, there's no set rules as you're working it. If you plan, if you change a color, do it. If it feels right to you, um, you can, you know, add, darken, go over colors. Um, in the end, I went ahead and retouched everything with the Sharpie, went over all the edges to clean them up, and I like it. It's it's very nice. I like it. Um, I like the way it turned out. It It's a lot of work. I, I mean, it took me, I don't know, like two hours total time. But, um, I'd say maybe three hours if you count the sketching and the thinking and the planning, the, the whole thing. But it's enjoyable. It's something that's going to hang in my garden. Went ahead and gave the background a wash. Let me show you a close up with a dry brush. And, uh, see, like to me, um, uh, it looks a bit um, uh, simplistic, I think. When I paint, I like blending colors. I like, see, like uh, bringing out the, the, the texture, the color with the paint. And I, I love doing, doing that. Um, so something like this is like uh, painting a, a very simple painting to me. But it's very beautiful, and I mean, that's the look of the Talavera, and I guess it's the charm of the Talavera art. So, um, I hope that you'll try one of these. The, the sky is the limit. Whatever you can think of, you can, you can make. All you need is canvas, paper, board, cardboard, whatever you have around, um, and a little bit of paint and creativity, and you can create anything you'd like. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this project. Um, I will go ahead and take a snap of it hanging in my garden and um, so that you can take a look. Okay, here's a shot of my lizard hanging in the garden. I think it looks great. It has a great pop of color. And um, it's simple. Hopefully you'll try to make one for yourself. As you, this is an actual Talavera frog that is in my garden and I think it complements it beautifully. So thank you for stopping by and thank you for subscribing.